we have several different uh, EDCs that have these kind of programs, and that's the structure that, in order to ensure proper accounting and then ensure the proper use of the funds, it goes through the contract, typically. One, one aside here, and this is not anything to do with whether we approve or not, but on our little, uh, whatever you call this, uh, it requires in-person presentation supplies, and then yeah. we have to kind of look at that. Okay. Yeah, because so last year we, we haven't had, had the people here. So you want to table it, and then have them come back again in the next meeting? Not I, that, because that, that's something that, that well, I mean, I, I would think if we're going to approve something, this is something new I've never seen. So if we're going to approve it where you want that contractor, you're going to want to approve it with that contract and because we're going to approve it with that contractor. You're not prohibited from doing yeah. it. Right. You have your policy yeah. in place. It's just a recommendation oh, to strengthen have, the, okay. the process. No, no, I, I think the way we're doing it. I don't think we need the in-person, otherwise I would prefer it, but we don't need it. But it's in there. Why are saying that? You know, all but he's going to visit things is part of the facility. Yes. $15,000. That, that's, yeah, I mean, the numbers look right. I just, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not a contractor, but I mean, David, I mean, you can look at it. If you look at it, he, he probably does a lot of that kind of stuff too. I mean, with some things. I mean, you, if you look at it, just uh, the rotten roof. So I, I assume that's the rotten roof on the overhang, not the roof on the top. Um, the one arrow, they're going to resurface the custom decoration, um, replace missing drain spouts, um, the broken front door, replace the front door. I mean, if you do a double door that's rod iron or something nice. He's going to keep the same door. He's going to refinish it. He's going to, refinish. Okay. He's going to try to keep it to as much as possible to its originality. So the double door. So I mean, that would be good. That like if he's going to refinish it, yeah. first thing you're finished, you give a bit. And he wants to do the windows above it too. They, you, he said they originally went all the way up, and somebody cut those windows down shorter. So he wants to add those windows that are actually one long window going up to the top of that second floor. So um, I mean, his initiative is there. He's putting his own money in. Um, I think up to that amount, as long as he with proper documentation, I don't yeah, see why I'll not. It means what we want to do. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Be the dead horse on that. So, so I'll I'll make make didn't say, he did say he was going to give you the documentation. And if he doesn't, I'll let you know right away. Said, you know, this is something you've been wanting to do for Yes, sir. So that's why it's important that we get these numbers up to par because then, this if we approve this, then this will go down to 15, and we can only do two more projects. So and I just got a call on another facade uh, application from, uh, I think it's M&S. Uh, by, by way of history, Mr. Carvajal uh, used to work for Mr. Vela, who was the original saddle maker, and he showed the original saddle maker. Wow. Wow. Uh, well, now you got one. We got another call from uh, the jet with a, they want the Costa Rula tea and the how far are y'all willing to go out with these it's, facades to the it's within, within the city within limits. The city limits. limits? Yeah. So anywhere within the city limits. But I would, back. Do we have a motion for this one? So I see. I so move. So move to approve. To what amount? Well, not and the cheaply amount. The half the seventy five hundred. Which which is no, it's half up to fifty percent, not to exceed of the cost. But not to exceed 7,500. Yeah. So okay. 7,500. Okay. Yes, sir. If the um, if we get so many requests, do we amend the budget amount at some point? We can. I would. Yeah. Totally, totally up to our budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have the money. Like, so very worthwhile. Because like, I think. Uh, who, who qualifies and who doesn't? That's what I want to know. So if you read the thing right here, any business that comes into town. So like if. For example, I mean, this is a work. I don't know who got, who leases the property. Say, I don't want to call it, but say someone owns a property and they lease it. A tenant can come in and own the business, and they want to redo it. They can apply for the side grant as long as they put that infrastructure to the outside. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Gonzalez. I second. To approve up to seventy-five hundred for Mr. Allen Carvajal. Yeah, seventy-five. Up to seventy-five. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Well, longer than the six year. Six year, yes. Okay. Let's go to our second sessions.
and I'm going to read the statement. The FEDC board will convene a board item C in oh, executive session pursuant to government code. Oh, we do five, five, four, five, the five minute break. Yeah. Okay, let's come back at eight ten. <coughs> So, David, yes. 